Hey everyone, this is Sasha bringing you a video tutorial today from bp for You. Today we're going to be talking about text. So to grab your text tool, you can either click over here or you can press T on your keyboard. So to make text, I'm going to go ahead and I can set my font. If you don't have a lot of font options or you don't like the options that you have, if you go online, you can generally find quite a few different free fonts that you can install into your Photoshop Elements really quickly and easily. Um, here, if you have a font that will accept this, you can make it italic, bold, bold, italic, and black. I do have fonts, for example, this font right here. I can't change this. So if you're trying to drop this down and it will not drop down, it's probably because of the font that you have chosen. Right here you set your font size and so you can set that to any size that you want to and if that isn't the right size that you want, you can always come in here and you can highlight that and you can, you can make your own. Now this is your anti-alias button. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you what that does. So let's go ahead and we'll make a B. And let's zoom in on that. So you can see here um, how your B kind of looks right now. So let's go ahead and highlight this B. But look how it looks when we take away that anti-alias. So it's got these um, kind of blocky stair step things that go up it. And so that's not um, always the look that we are going for. So I'm going to highlight this again and I'm going to turn that feature back on and it kind of smooths that out some. And so that is what that does just in case you were curious about that. So the next here, um, if I went ahead and I highlighted this, even though I can't put um, my font style over here, I can't make it bold or italic. I can do a faux bold or I can do a faux italic. I can underline it or I can strike it through. So those are options that we have here. I can set my paragraph style here. I can come over here and I can change my color. Click OK on that. So we can go ahead and we can warp this. So we can just type in, let's make a word here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to highlight this. And we can play with this warp tool. So I've highlighted it, I clicked on the warp tool, and then I can bring this down. And now I can sort of play with this and you can see how it um, moves and then you also have these sliders down here where you can add more of the effect you can take some of the effect away you can make it more horizontal um, you can make it more vertical uh, you can make it look like it's kind of floating off into nothing <laughs> so those are lots of different options that you have there here you can change your text orientation so you can go from vertical to horizontal or back again. Once you are happy you can either click on this layer here or you can click the check mark here and the cursor blinky thing will just kind of stop. Another thing that we can do is we can grab this arrow tool up here and go control T and while holding down or we can click this constraint proportions box here and we can move by holding down our cursor we can move this bigger or we could make it smaller and then we can grab this little doohickey right here and you'll see these arrows we can change um, we can make it up all the way upside down we can change the angle that the text is facing once you're happy with it you can press the check mark and that would be its new um, orientation. Also with this tool, because it's the move tool, we can move it anywhere we want it on the screen. 
So that is everything that you will need to know about your text tool. So thank you for watching this video tutorial. Happy editing!